so this is continuation of lecture number 25 and in this uh, particular part of the lecture i will be discussing about the design trade offs that has to be uh, faced by the wind turbine uh, technology an optimum uh, uh, control or choice uh, has to be made for Uh, the wind turbine uh, drive train with an objective of maximizing energy harvesting and minimizing the noise emission uh, one of the major challenges uh, that is being faced uh, in the matters of public uh, uh, acceptance uh, for continuous growth of wind turbine installation is the emission of noise pollution however reducing the noise emission could uh, uh, lead to decreased wind uh, energy harvesting as a result a trade off rises between the power generation and the emission of noise pollution especially when a wind turbine is operated under under the partial load condition so let us uh, discuss the further more about the trade off between the number of turbines and their uh, spacings uh, a uh, large turbines costs per uh, megawatt in the uh, and they uh, occupy less area but have uh, lower annual uh, megawatt or uh, energy yield capacity uh, downtime of one machine severely impacts uh, the uh, energy production the commercial wind turbine costs is about uh, 1 to 2 million dollar a megawatt name uh, name plate capacity installed if you buy a same scale turbine in 2 megawatt rating its cost would be around 2.8 million the wind turbines for uh, residents and farms are uh, less expensive uh, when a kilowatt energy uh, uh, rating production capacity uh, applies to the rates the cost of utility scale wind turbine range from about 1.3 million dollars to 2.2 million dollars per megawatt of name plate capacity installed most of the commercial scale turbines installed today are uh, range, uh, uh, approximately 2 megawatt in uh, size and uh, their cost is roughly around 3 to 4 million uh, dollars after uh, installation wind power is uh, cost effective uh, land based utility scale uh, wind of the one of the uh, lowest priced Uh, energy sources available today and uh, its uh, generation will cost around 1 to 2 cents per uh, kilowatt hour after uh, giving all the applied uh, taxes the next is the uh, tall towers uh, beneficials uh, uh, but uh, <coughs> must uh, they must uh, confirm the uh, local uh, confirm, uh, confirm the uh, local uh, regulations they, these are the height rules the height rules are uh, defined by the uh, government uh, of uh, for a, a certain area that are, uh, if you are constructing something then uh, its height uh, should be maximum for uh, for instance uh, in it is uh, 100 meters Uh, for uh, residential areas so that you are not uh, blocking any uh, sun and uh, other uh, air of the uh, residents or your uh, neighbors so we, uh, uh, installing of uh, uh, these uh, towers one must make sure that he has uh, approval from the concerned authorities to install a higher tower because at higher tower uh, the uh, wind uh, speed is uh, continuous and and at uh, lower altitudes uh, the uh, ground obstructions or the shadow effect uh, will uh, reduce its overall efficiency the next uh, is the turbine uh, uh, placement the turbines placed 2 to 4 rotor diameter uh, apart in cross wind direction and 8 to 12 rotor diameters apart in the wind direction uh, uh, it is shown in the uh, next uh, slide uh, this is ba basically uh, done to uh, reduce the uh, shadow effect 
uh, of uh, the wind the next is the wind power fluctuation and electrical transients on fewer and larger machines uh, which uh, uh, which needs to uh, to ensure that the filtration is done for the voltage and current fluctuation surge so that the attached equipment is not damaged so this uh, these types of attachments and enhancement in systems will increase the overall uh, efficiency but the cost will be um, increased so this is an example of uh, uh, wind turbine placing where uh, over here it is uh, these two windmills uh, are uh, separated by an area of uh, uh, sorry distance of 8 to 12 uh, rotor diameters of uh, installed windmill and on uh, horizontal axis it is uh, around 2 to 4 rotor diameter uh, this is uh, uh, basically uh, done to uh, negate or mitigate the effect of uh, wind shadow that is being uh, that will be casted if this windmill is just in front of for example this windmill then uh, the wind will be obscured by uh, the uh, first one that is facing the wind and the wind will behind that uh, this one it will have uh, the less uh, power uh, that is being uh, costed on it by wind so basically the uh, term uh, wind shadow is used to describe the disturbed airflow uh, and downwind or the obstructions uh, and it is faced by the obstructions like uh, trees hills buildings and um, it is the air movement that creates a uh, disturbed flaky or choppy or uh, let's say uh, trashy airflow